2020. Last week's verse was Philippians 4.13. One more time, I can do, do all things. I can do all things do right, which strengthens me. Red. Which strengthens me. me. Philippians 4 verse 13. Yes. So let's sing our song today. I, I am a Christian. I, Who are you? Everybody say, I am, I am a Christian. I okay, am let's sing. Love, love. Later. Everybody sing. I am a CH. 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 I am a C H I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I E N. I am a C H I S C I
Remember that who won? Who won the battle? It was David. David. Even though he was small, because God was with David, God helped David won the battle. Don't judge. Remember before David and Goliath, because God rejected King Saul as king because he disobeyed God, he told Prophet Samuel to choose. The next king. So the Lord chooses who? You can type in the chat box your answer. The Lord chooses David. Right? Not because David was fit physically, outwardly to be a king, but because of his heart. You know, the eldest brother of David, Eliab, was not happy also because he thought he would be the one to be chosen because of his features and he's the eldest but god chose the youngest the david the eighth son of jesse so you know sometimes we felt jealous when somebody is being favored more than us Maybe like your parents love your brother or sister more than you. Sometimes you feel also jealous. But you know, our lesson this afternoon is about that. By the way, this is King Saul. He got mad and he's staring the wall because Prophet Samuel rebuked King Saul that because of your disobedience, God rejected you as king. So because of that, 
Saul was already not in good spirit, meaning like he got mad. By the way, what happened? I said, okay, sorry, ha. Huh? I said, touch something. So, because of that, they need someone to calm Saul because he is not sleeping anymore. That's why when we are good at something, we serve before kings because David was very skillful in playing the harp. That's why he was called to be the one to play instrument harp to the king and the king can sleep. So those were our past story I just review. So right now, after King David, oh not yet, David killed Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17. We move on to 1 Samuel 18 to 19. Look what happened when they came back home from war. So this is what happened. Listen to what the women is raising. Hey, Gibby is pretty nice. Oh. Hear what they sing? Yes, my lord. Words of praise. Open your oh. ears. They credit David with ten thousands and me only thousands. Next, they'll be making him their king. My king? Sir, it might be best if you were to come back at another time. The king is not himself. This is David. In that case, bring me my kinor. My playing never fails to suit them. That's King Saul. He got jealous because the women praised David to, that he killed 10,000. But for King Saul, just 1,000. But David said, I will play music so the king will be comforted. What is David doing? Playing the harp. He got jealous. King Saul to David. We shouldn't allow We shouldn't allow jealousy to rule in our heart. Do you know what's the meaning of jealous or being jealous? Because that's what King Saul felt when the people praised David to kill more enemies than Saul. So Saul felt, wow, the people love David more than me. Maybe they want to make him king. Because he was rebuked by Prophet Samuel, like, that your kingdom will be taken away from you because of your disobedience. So he was thinking that it will be David. So what is jealousy? Can you please read? It's thoughts or feeling of insecurity. Fear and concern over a relative lack of possessions or safety. Jealousy can consist of one or more emotion, such as anger, like what King Saul felt, resentment, inadequacy, helplessness, or, or disgust, or hatred. So, this is a negative emotion that we shouldn't 
allow it to linger in our heart. How do you feel jealous before? You know, it can happen to anyone, not just to King's soul. So we need to guard our hearts. We need to ask God to help us. If you feel like, I feel envious, why he has wonderful baon, or you like something that you don't have from your friends, or maybe your parents treat your other brothers and sisters more time with them than you. I don't know how you will feel. But one time, Shansi Kati also felt jealous. I have a best friend, but we were not in the same class. And she found another friend that I introduced to her. And they become very close. I felt they have more time to be together because they were classmates and me. Uh, I have less time to be with them. So I felt like insecure. Why they love each other more than me? So the good thing was, when I felt that, I told them, do you know I feel jealous? But of course, it's not easy to admit if you feel like that, right? So you just say, you know, I felt jealous because you have more time for each other and no more time for me. I felt like you love each other more than me, you know? Because of that, they said, oh, no, because you have different schedule. You, your time is not the same time with our break time. That's why you, we were not able to be together. So how do we overcome when we feel jealous? I wrote here, you have to admit it. Everybody say, admit it. I know sometimes we feel shy to admit that you are jealous, but you have to say it. You have to acknowledge, and then you have to communicate it. You have to tell to your friend, do you know I felt jealous to you? Then your friend may have reason. For example, why they did not invite you to watch a certain movie or something, a party. Maybe they can explain why. I, we did not invite you because we know you don't like horror movie or you, you don't like to go to party because you're not allowed by your parents. They can explain why. So you don't just harbor that or keep that negative feeling in your heart. So you can also resolve it. Like with God's help, God will help you to take away that negative emotion. Because if you allow it to stay in your heart for very, very long time, like what happened to King Saul, he got envious of David. You know what did King Saul do? He really, he really want to kill David now. You know, there was a time like he wants to, David to marry his daughter and he said, you can marry my daughter if you give me 100 Philistines, life or foreskin, something like that. So he wants David to be killed by the enemy because he tried to kill David, right? But David was able to escape two times from King Saul because King Saul wants to, yes, it, King Saul wants to kill David. But David was very fast to to move that's why he was not here and king king Saul said oh an evil spirit came to me i'm sorry david but honestly david uh king Saul really wants to kill david so there was a time when king so uh david came back and he really killed not only 100 philistine he killed 200 more than what Saul. King Saul required from David in order for him to marry her, his daughter. No? So the first one was married to another one, which is sad because King Saul promised David if he do that, he will let the daughter marry. But the good thing, the second daughter, Micah, is also in love with David. So 
this pleases uh, King Saul. Oh, Michael will be the one to marry. Will let you. Well, I I will let Michael marry David instead. So look what happened, ah? Huh? Because King Saul really wants to kill David. <laughs> Daughter helped David, yes, her husband, to escape. That's King Saul. That's her daughter, Michael. With David. You are in grave danger. You must leave here tonight. Tell me, what's wrong? Don't ask me how I know this. But Saul intends to take your life. Yeah, daughter of King Saul. So really, King Saul sent soldiers or his men to go to David or Micah's house to kill. Why? Your maid? No. The girl is dead. Why did you deceive me? And help my enemy? I have been faithful to my husband. As I should. Because they thought it was David. But in the Bible, it was not a maid. It was like an uh, idol. I had no chance to find out. So King Saul was not happy to his daughter Michael because Michael helped her husband David escape. Actually, in the Bible, it's not a helper. It's like Michael put a, a statue or an idol with goat's hair and cover it that it seems like it's David who is ill and sick. But when when Michael is trying to tell the soldier, you know, my husband's not feeling well, so you just come back next day. But when the soldier went back to King Saul and reported that David is sick, Saul still determined, oh, bring him to me even on his bed. So when the soldier came to the house of Michael, they saw David lying, but when they look at it they found out that it's not david it's an idol with goat's hair so michael helped her husband escape that's why king saul was not happy to her daughter but michael he's just she's just doing what she should do because he knows david did not do anything Who is wrong king so king saul really wants to kill david even though there were many times there was a feast also that David should be there and he was not there. But the good thing, King Saul's son named Jonathan also protected David because he loved David as a friend like his own brother. So look at this, huh? By killing the giant Goliath, David became a hero. God's people loved him. But King Saul became jealous of David. King Saul had a son named Jonathan, who was a prince of Israel and David's best friend. King Saul told Jonathan and all his servants to kill David. So Jonathan decided to warn his friend. My father is looking for a chance to kill you, but I have a plan. Tomorrow morning, you hide behind that big rock. I'll come out with my bow and pretend to shoot at a target. Then I'll send a boy to find the arrows. If I say to him, no, you've gone too far, the arrows are closer to me, that means you are safe. But if I say, go farther, the arrows went past the big rock, that means my father won't change his mind, and you are in danger. Who will be in danger? David, because of King So David hid behind the rock, 
Saul and Jonathan were nearby. The king was very angry with his son. Jonathan, don't you know that as long as David is alive, you'll never be king? He must die! But father, David has done Young nothing Mike wrong. Die? Then Saul threw his spear at Jonathan, trying to kill his own son. What's that? Ah. What's that? So Jonathan and his servant ran away toward the big rock. Jonathan said to the boy, Run and find this arrow. When the boy ran toward the rock, Jonathan shot the arrow way beyond the rock and called out, Go further! The arrows went past you! So David knew the news was bad. When the boy left, David came out and hugged his dear friend. Dear friend. Even though they were grown men, they were both crying. But David cried the most. David, my friend, go in peace. We have been promised by the Lord that you and I and all our descendants will be friends forever. Years later, Jonathan and his father died in a battle against Israel's enemy, and David became king. Because of his great friendship with Jonathan, King David took care of Jonathan's crippled son Mephibosheth for the rest of his life. So you can see that from the story what can jealousy do to a person we have to really deal with that negative emotion the sooner the better because like king Saul, he dwell on that jealousy that kind of angry feeling towards david he is making a lot of wrong decision he even tried to kill his own son because his son favored love david and he also got angry to who? To her yeah. own daughter, no? Because her daughter loves her husband. And he wants to kill the husband, she of course. Daughter, yeah, King Saul's daughter, Micah, wants to protect her husband. So let he let him escape. So that's the sad thing, no? When we allow jealous, jealousy to be in our heart. So if you feel like that, you try your best to pray. God, I don't like this feeling. This is not from you. Help me to take this away so that I will not do wrong things to other people because of that negative feeling. Okay? Everybody say, can I see your okay or thumbs up reaction? You can click your reaction, thumbs up. So, again, say it with me. I will not let jealousy rule in my heart. Okay? So, what can we learn from this story? In 1 Samuel 18 to 20, almost. First, when we honor God, when we are committed to follow God in our life, God's favor is on us. God will protect us wherever we go and bless us in whatever we do. Wherever David fight the battle, he always have victory. He always won. He even won Goliath over Goliath, right? Whatever we do, when we put God first, when we honor God, when we do His will in our life, God will bless us. That's His promise. That's what happened to David. Wherever David, he find favor from God. God chose David because God saw in the heart of David that David loves him very much. That's why he chose David to be the next king. He helped David win so many battles. Yes. But when God favors his people, other people might feel envious or jealous of us just like what happened to king saul he got jealous to david because they god's favor was in david so he felt like because god was with david 
everything David do is successful. So because of that, he wants to bring down David, even to the point he wants to kill David by himself. He asked his son to kill David. He even wants, because diba, David become Saul's son-in-law for marrying her daughter. He even wants to kill his own son-in-law. So sad. So there are people, much more, those people who are not related to you. Imagine what David have done to King Saul. He had done so much favor to make King Saul a better king of Israel. But King Saul promoted David, but eventually he wants to kill David. That's so sad because of envy, of jealousy. So when God favor is on us, some people will be jealous of you. So be careful. Always um, ask God to protect you. No? Next week lesson, we continue First Samuel chapter 21. What happened to 24? How the Lord has been with David. So for now, our focus is how God protected David when his father-in-law, King Saul, wants to kill him. God provided David a friend who is his brother-in-law, Jonathan, no? the son of King Saul. And Prophet Samuel, when he ran away, he went to Prophet Samuel, who anointed him to be the next king. And his wife also helped his, him, David, to escape. And God also provided people to, to support David, even though he was declared an outlaw. So we will continue this story next week. But for now, I hope you can learn that when we put God first, God will bless us. And when somebody is envious of us, God will protect us I when we like honor that. him. Okay, so King Saul is jealous of David. So because of that, many things happen. But God provided David a friend that loves him at all times. That protected him from his father, which is Jonathan. No? Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. So our memory verse for today is found in 1 Samuel 18, 14. Can you guess what is it? In everything he did, David did. He had great success because the Lord was with him. 1 Samuel 18, 14. When God is with us, everything we do will be successful. So, always remain in Him so God will bless us. Okay? I will give you another verse next week that related to this. In John chapter 15, verse 5. Remain in Him and I in you so that you will bear much fruit. So, when we connect to God all the time, He will give us success. Okay? So, do you understand the story for today, children? I cannot hear you. You can write in the group chat what you've learned. You've learned that you should not allow jealousy to rule in your heart or have anything to do in your feelings. If you feel that way, ask God, take this away. I don't like to feel jealous. I don't like because that's not God's will for you to feel that way. You admit it and you talk it out to that person that you felt jealous with. And then you resolve it. You ask God to help you accept. Ah, that's why mama loves my brother more because he is sickly. 
He is slow. Mama needs to teach him more than me because me, I'm smarter like that. So everything has a reason. You just have to communicate Mama so you don't special. feel jealous. Jealous is ah, jealous. Uh, precious, is. precious is there. Okay. Is so, do you learn something today, kids? Yes. Hi, I did not, I learned not to be jealous at my brother from now on. Yes. God is good. Never felt like that. You should love one another because sometimes our parents take care of our brother more for a reason because they need help. Like for me, my daughter needs mom, me more. So Hagios has to understand why Mama Shansikati need to spend more time with Hesed because I need to teach her more because she's a little bit slower in understanding. Okay? And she needs more therapy than Hagios. So things like that. Don't be jealous. Thank you for your learning. Who else learned something? I'm so happy you type it out. So let's pray to God to take away that negative feeling. Anything else? And remember to always honor God. So you will be successful in everything you do. Just like David. No matter how impossible, God will really, really I'm bless, precious. help us. If you are... In want right now, my like, precious. bless my parents, Lord, in their business, in their work. Keep us all healthy. If you honor God, God will protect us. If there are trials that we are experiencing, doesn't mean that God was with David. God favored David. David has no problem. David also has lots of problems. Because of King Saul got jealous to him, he also experienced lots lots of problems Trial. but god yeah. helped david yeah. provided a friend his wife to help him escape yeah. right yeah. yes so whatever problem you have there is no problem too big that god cannot solve can i see you say okay okay there is no problem to be God cannot solve it. There is no sorrow to deep. He cannot soothe it. Yes. If he carry the weight of the world. What's next? If he carry the weight of the world. I forgot the lyrics, but what's important if God can carry the weight of the world, how much more the problem you have. It's very easy for God to, to solve. So don't worry. God is in control. He takes care of everything. There's many changes that we are experiencing right now. Pastor, don't preach this morning. But don't you worry. Let's embrace change. With God's help, we can overcome whatever trials, changes that we are facing in life. Okay, so let's sing some songs for the Lord and give your all, your best worship to Him. Okay? I'm going down now. Okay, let's sing some songs because Hesed loves to sing worship songs to God. Okay? I want to go down. Yes, after singing, let's see, you can go. Let's sing for the Lord, everyone. Do you like to sing a Chinese song? If you don't know Chinese, you read the words I know. I am Okay, God, there is a God who takes care of us, who loves us so much.
权并盛开一切罪恶。
Okay? Children, let's see. Alex, um, have closing prayer. Let's pray. No. Put hands together. Dear Lord Jesus, help me to only feel something that will make you happy. Take away any feelings that is not right. Help me not to feel jealous anymore or envy towards anyone. Help me to always put you first in my life. Bless Lord everything that I'm doing. As I study, bless us my family with good health, bless our business, bless our work. Thank you, Lord. We love you so much. Thank you for speaking to us for the things we learn today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. Let's have a group photo. Smile. Everybody smile. Yan. Kiana, wait. Smile. Shift, no? Or control. This one. Smile. Yeah, thank you, Trisha. You did not turn on your video, Trisha. Okay, that's all for today. See you next week. I hope you will invite your friends to join us next week. Okay, God bless. See you next week. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing.